Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nora Maisnaini. I'm from class 33.3A.02. In this section, I want to retell the audio for listening specific purposes. Final test project. Part 1, audio 1. His name is Fred. He is 17 years old and living in London. He woke up at 7 a.m. and got out of bed 30 minutes later. Then he went downstairs to eat his breakfast of cereal and orange juice. Sometimes he also replaced the breakfast with toast with bread of jam or honey on top. After breakfast, he packed his things for school. Fred's school is only the center of the town and he always goes to school on foot because it only takes 15 minutes from his house to school. Fred's school is quite old, which is 400 years old with seven age groups there. Fred's school is an all boys school. His school starts at half past nine a.m. and he has two subjects that take one hour forty five minutes, which is until quarter past ten a.m. After that, they take a break at a quarter to eleven a.m. They only rest for fifteen minutes, which is until eleven a.m. Then they continue for two more subjects for one hour forty minutes, that is until twenty to one p.m. After that, they took a lunch break. Fred, Fred always went to downtown during recess, unlike his friends who always ate in the school cafeteria. Then after lunch break, he continued to more subjects until school time ended at half past 4 p.m. Usually when he gets home, he just gets relaxed for up to an hour while reading a book or watching television. His mother usually gets home between half past 6 p.m. or 6 p.m. And after that, they have dinner together at half past 7 p.m. Part 2, Audio 3. Mrs. Smith is the host of the Weather Channel. She reports the weather that day. The first came from the British Isles. The sun was shining brightly in London and the temperature was warm to 18 degrees. From the south, especially Britain and its environment, it's also sunny. In the northern, in Newcastle, it's raining and it's likely to snow as well. In areas of Scotland, it snows with temperature down to minus 2 degrees. In the Edinburgh area, it rains and snows with a temperature of minus 3 degrees. In the Cardiff area, there was a thunderstorm. Horrible day in a beautiful western town. In the Elster area, the weather is cloudy with mild temperatures. But the Foss area has sunny weather at beautiful intervals. In the Dublin area, the temperatures was low around 5 degrees, but it was quite a, a sunny Sunday. It was a sunny Sunday, but the wind was blowing very hard. Thus, the event that was caused by Mrs. Smith that day. Part 3, Audio 6. BBC presenters Brown and Jeffries said, that schools in England are preparing 
to a comeback cocktail. After nearly six months out of the clutter, the education secretary, Kevin Williamson, insists that students were returning to a safe environment and said that reopening of school was a massive milestone. But he apologized again to young people for the stress and uncertainty of problems with Aleppo and GCSE results. Teachers have been returning today with most children due back from tomorrow to the end of the week. As our education editor, Baron Jeffrey, tell us from morning drop off onward. It's all changing signs warning parents they cannot come beyond the gate for their head. An extra cost to making the school safe. So, what happens if the case is confirmed? Who will have to ask close contact of the person who test positive to self-isolate? Close contact means face-to-face -face contact within a matter of the infected person for more than 15 minutes or direct skin to skin contact. Proximity contact that pending more than 15 minutes under two meters from the infected person and traveling in a small vehicle like a car with an infected person. Nova Health official will help identify those contact. Getting schools open to total back is one political challenge. Sorting out what happened to next year's exam is another delay is on the card with answers expected soon. So that's all from me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.